If you're like me, the most frustrating thing about getting a new radio is programming the thing. Unless you're only adding a couple of favorite frequencies and repeaters, using a CPS and your computer is likely your best bet. In this how-to video, let's take a look at programming the UV25 Pro Max using both Chirp and Baofeng's customer programming software. So here we are in the Chirp display, and to get started, we're going to download from the radio. So we're going to select download from the radio. I've already gone through here and made my selection. So I've got COM4, which I got from my device manager. I've got Baofeng and UV17 Pro. Now I want the Pro, not the plain UV17 or the UV17 Pro GPS. Pro is the one that's going to work. So I've got the cable plugged in, the radio on. I've made sure I got a good firm connection. And so now I'll press OK. And you can see that the radio downloads into Chirp, which is a really good start. So the memories we have in here, I don't want them. I've got uh, uh, other things I want to put in here. And so I'm just going to uh, dispose of these memories. I'll uh, click and shift click. And then I'm going to delete the memories. And I'm just going to clear that out. So now I'm going to go to radio. I'm going to go to query source. I'm going to go to repeater book. I've got this choice and I'm going to go to the county, which is Maricopa. And then I'm also going to go into certain bands and I'm going to pick only the two meter, the 1.25 and the 70 centimeter bands. And I'm only going to pick certain modes only FM since this is an FM only radio. And then I'm going to import those. Here are my repeater book inputs. I've got a whole bunch of them. I don't want all of these, but what I'm going to do then is copy them and then paste them in over here. Now I've done that already and I've gone through and sorted them as well. So here's what I ended up with after I deleted and rearranged all of those uh, entries from repeater book. It took me five minutes or so to go through those, but it's just mouse clicks instead of a lot of typing. So that's uh, that's all pretty good. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump down here yeah, to about row 100, and I'm going to go in and use my open stock configurations, and I'm going to go in and get my GMRS channels, and I don't want the FRS channels. So I'm going to delete those. And then I'm going to select my GMRS channels. I'm going to copy those. And then I'm going to paste them in the same way I did with the previous ones. I'm going to put them down in 100 so I know where they are. And I've got paste. I've got the frequencies. and. Be the way I've got the radio configured, I ought not to be transmitting on these, but I might want to monitor them. So I've got all these all set to include the repeater channels. And so now I've got the basics of what I want my radio to do. And so at this point, then I'm going to get out here of the memories. I'm going to go over to the settings and I'm going to take a look at what I've got here. So I've got a timeout timer of 120. I want dual watch on. I'll turn that on. The display type. I've got logo, voice prompts enabled. Just taking a look at all of these things. I want names in my channel A and B displays, not frequencies. Scan modes, alarm mode. I want local, which it is. So I've got all of this coming in. The work mode uh, for A and B is frequency, but I want it to be channel in A and frequency in B. This time display, Vox settings. Uh, and I want the FM on. So I've got that all set. And then I've got these various codes for DTMF that I'm not going to mess with. So I've got my basic settings all complete. And so with that, now I'm going to go to file. I'm going to save as. This is going to be the UV25 Pro Max. 
set that. And I've got a label that's coming out of chirp that I'm happy with. I'll just use that. And save it. Now with that done, I'll go back to radio and I'm going to upload to the radio. Everything here stays the same. I'm going to go with OK. And the radio is now uploading. It's in programming mode. The radio is reboot. And now I've got all of that set. The uh, channel on my display gives a name and the frequency in the lower part of the display. And so I know that the setting changes have all taken effect. So let's take a quick look at the factory version before we go any further. So here we've got the factory CPS for the UV25, and it's the same one that we're going to be using for several Baofeng radios. It's the T6UV series. And so we're going to start by going to our port. We're going to set up COM port 4, which we identified in the device manager. And now we're going to read from the radio. We'll start. And you can see the progress bar starting to come across and the radio is transmitting now to the computer through the USB cable plugged into the K1 connector on the side. And so here are all those changes that we made in Chirp. And so they all came across the way they needed to with the right columns and so forth with the names and all of that information. Go down here to 100. Here are all those GMRS channels that I put in as receive only. And so that's all there. We can also then go into program and uh, we can see that we can read or write. In the windows, we give the various things that we can program. We'll look at that in a second. We've got file, new, open, save, that usual stuff. Tools, we can make a change to the power on picture, which is kind of handy. And then they help about, which gives us the version of the software that we're using. So let's go into window and go into the VFO mode. Here are the settings that come up standard with VFO. I'm not going to mess with those. We're going to go into our function modes and here are all the settings we changed in Chirp. So squelch is three. Timeout timer is 120 seconds. I want to change the scan mode to time operations so it'll linger there on a frequency that it it listens to but won't stay there forever. Uh, the alarm mode is for the on-site so I don't transmit. And so we've got all of these things here that we can change. This is pretty handy to use and if you're not adding a lot of frequencies or channels into your radio, the factory CPS is fine. As you saw, adding a bunch with Chirp is a better option. I'm going to uh, save as to my UV25 Pro Max folder. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to give it a date. I'm going to go 20240202, and it's going to be uh, UV 25 PM Pro Max, and I'm going to save that. So now I've got a copy of this. Should I mess something up and want to refresh uh, the radio using the factory CPS? So. There we go, a couple of quick tutorials and uh, overviews of both the factory CPS and Chirp. Hey, if you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button below the video and subscribe to the Gadget Talk channel. I really appreciate it. Join me over here if you haven't seen my review of the UV25 Pro Max. Thanks for watching and 73.